Good evening. Ah uh, yes, the Friday uploads. Normally I upload on Wednesday, but I just so happen to be called to a job that brought me out to California, which was super exciting, you guys will see in the future. Which is why this video is a little bit late, because then I wouldn't be here. In this video, we are going to be doing something I have been wanting to do for a long time, like probably years, and that is bringing a child's drawing to life. And in today's kiddo recreation, we are going to be recreating six-year-old Raylani's artwork. It's so cute. She is six years old! Six! Six! Raylani, your artwork is so good. You have so many different things happening in it. It all flows together. It's so nice and colorful. I absolutely love your drawing. You are a wonderful artist. And if you guys love her drawing, please make sure that you leave all of your love in the comments for her. If you enjoy this video or any of my videos, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn the notification bell on or whatever it is that YouTube is having you do. Now, I think it's a whole list of things but please be sure to turn your notifications on, let YouTube know that you just love and adore and want to see this channel at least once a week. <laughs> now, before we get started, Raylani, listen to me. Couple of things. Thing number one, I do have a shirt on, it just does not have any sleeves on. It's kind of like a bathing suit. Thing number two, chances are, I know you guys probably have paint in your house because not only are you an artist, your mom is also an artiste. The kind of paint that I'm gonna use today to recreate your drawing is a special kind of paint that's only meant for your skin. Chances are the paint that you guys have looks something like this. Maybe it's in a tube, but this is not meant for your body or for your face. This is is the only type of paint that you can use on your skin. You might have your face painted when you're at a school event or you're at the zoo or something like that. They use the same kind of paint that we're gonna be using today. I don't wanna be getting a message that you're putting paint on yourself because I'm using a special kind of paint. And if you would like to do something like this, I'm sure you could ask your mom because Halloween is coming around. Now looking at her drawing, I was trying to decide if I wanted to go more realistic with it or if I wanted to stick to the actual crayon type drawing. And I really think that I wanna just take her drawing and try to make it as close as I possibly can to bring it to real life on my skin, but still look like a drawing. As if you just took the drawing and just went whoop, and just pulled it right off the page. So I'm first going to very, very lightly outline using body paint where the flowers are gonna go around my eyes so I have a general idea not to overlap around everything else. Now there are also flowers around the mouth, but I'm going to put those in later. I want to lay down my base colors first. I'm also just going to quickly outline where all the grass is going to go on my body. I'm just going to outline everything, sea creatures and all. Before we fill in all the colors in detail, I'm actually going to prime my eyes and apply yellow eyeshadow around my eyes. Since, you know, I have eyeballs in my face and I can't erase those. So we're just gonna make it yellow around my eyes. I'm also gonna add just a little bit of brown eyeshadow right around my lid and right underneath my eye. And because I don't want to make around my eyes too harsh, I'm then going to line my eyes using brown eyeliner. Now because I still want to incorporate the center of the flower on my face, I'm then going to use brown eyeliner and continue to just add little dots right in my eyeshadow. Now I have never painted crayon before ever in my life, never. So trying to get this texture is also very brand new to me. What I am first going to do is lay down all the colors lighter than they actually are, that way we can get the scribbles in between of actually filling everything in. I also know that I'm gonna need somewhat of a fade or transition in between the yellow and the flowers. So I'm going to be using purple body paints and pink body paint to fill in the petals very lightly. I'm then going to mix in a little bit of red and a little bit of black into both colors gradually just to create the actual marks of the crayons throughout the flowers and outline them. Just a little bit at a time. If you're using paint, if you add a little bit of black into the color that you're using, you'll make the color darker. If you use a little bit of white into the color you're using, you'll make the color lighter. But whenever you're mixing paint, you just want to use a very little bit at a time. That way you can make sure you get the color that you want and you don't go too dark 
dark or too light. And I don't want to make the pink side too dark, so I'm just going to add some red into the pink to make it a little bit more of a darker magenta type looking. Using a very light blue, I'm then going to apply all the blue to my face and to my body. And I will be using my special blue face paint that is made for your skin. Using a darker version of this blue face paint and then going to fill in all the scribbles of the crayons. I'm probably going to add a little bit of white just to make it a little lighter, then make it a little darker. So two layers of trying to make the crayon effects scribbles. The brush I'm using is also a little bit damaged, it's kind of dry and rough, and I figured that would add to like the scribbly type of effect as opposed to using a very soft, smooth brush that's going to give us really smooth lines. Because, you know, crayons are waxy, they're not super smooth, which they can be. I'm also just going to outline these sections using this more of a royal blue. Using green body paint, I'm then going to fill in all of the grassy areas doing the exact same thing, first starting off a lighter green, then filling in a more of a Kelly green. I'm also doing my best to color it in in the same pattern that Raylani did. Let me know, Raylani, in the comments. If you think I'm doing a good job, if you have any tips for me, if you want to help me out, let me know. Well, I have my green body paints out, I'm then going to go ahead and fill in the turtle. And to fill in the turtle as a whole, and then fill them in using the regular green that we use for the scribbles everywhere else. I'm then going to use black body paint to fill in his little face. Everyone knows I'm very excited right now for this. I'm then going to go ahead and fill in the seahorse using a more purpley tone and the crab using red. To create the flower smile, I'm then going to be using yellow body paint and just apply dots around my lips and then apply red petals using red body paint. Raylani's mom also told me that she was going to include clouds in the background, but she didn't think I'd be able to paint the walls in my house. You are correct. Now for my hair, the hair is actually tree branches. And because it's really close to my hair color, I'm actually going to braid my hair and put leaves at the bottom. I'm also going to go draw the tree, cut it out of cardboard, and finish up my hair. Thank you, Raylani, for letting me recreate your artwork. Let me know in the comments below if you think I did a good job. Hopefully you love it. I really tried to follow your drawing as close as I possibly could, and I really hope that you continue to create, continue to draw, paint, express yourself, and use your imagination to its fullest. I really loved being able to do this. If you would like to submit your kid's drawing to possibly become a body paint, please use the hashtag show some character project. The show some character project is a project that I created in hopes to get kids inspired. Learn to express themselves through artwork and to understand that if you are an artist, you are a part of a whole entire world of other artists. You are never, ever alone and there's nothing wrong with being a little slightly strange. I love seeing what kids come up with. Kids come up with some of the craziest stuff and I would love to have another opportunity to bring a kid's artwork to life, especially if they watch YouTube, especially if this is something that they love to do. I'm gonna go take some pictures and hopefully you are gonna go show Raylani some love in the comments.